Do you enjoy a Sunday afternoon ship spotting, peering through your binoculars as a mammoth marine vessel slowly makes its way across the horizon? Well, here's a treat for you, and you may even discover a few ships to add to your list to be on the lookout for. Ships about to get real. I like big boats, and I cannot lie. And since you're here now, I guess you'll enjoy a nice Shipley figure too. Without further silliness, let's take a look around the 20 biggest ships in the world. Number 20. Icon of the Seas Now I don't know if you harbor any strong feelings about cruise ships, but this one is a flipping enormous monster of a vessel. Likely as not, you're either a fan of the massive cruise ship, or you hate these things with a passion, and this one here is the biggest of them all. This is the brand new, extra shiny, and totally enormous cruise ship, Icon of the Seas. The vessel is the first of a new class of ships from Royal Caribbean, the Icon class. This ship is a ridiculously sizable 250,800 tons, and that makes her a whole 6% bigger than the current biggest cruise ship in the world, the Wonder of the Seas. Honestly, it's difficult to overstate just how insanely big the ship is. If she's to reach her maximum capacity, then Icon of the Seas will hold almost 10,000 people. That's including crew and passengers. But just think about that many people all squeezed onto a big-ass boat and stuck together at sea, breathing each other's gross germs. Ew! Aside from the obvious excessive numbers in the people and size department, this ship is also no slouch in the entertainment area. It's 20 decks high, featuring a gigantic water park, enormous entertainment spaces, loads of family areas, and a total of 14 new stateroom categories. It's a monster, and it's due to set sail in early 2024. This ship is out to break all manner of records as well. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Well, this is allegedly one of the biggest ships in the world, but I'm gonna say it's actually a manifestation of Elton John's weirdest dream brain. What do you think, though? Is it, without a doubt, the snazziest ship you ever did see? I mean, it is, without a doubt, the snazziest ship I ever did see. But is it real? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Wonder of the Seas Next up, we have the current flagship of the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. But as we've already seen, this big fat boat is due to be overtaken by the Icon of the Seas any moment. This cruise liner was completed in 2022 when she weighed in at over 236,000 gross tons, and that was considered huge. This one has the capacity for about 7,000 passengers and over 2,000 crew, and has a whole lot of room for people who love to vacation in close proximity to other human beings, and features all the junk you would expect from a floating city. This thing is actually divided into neighborhoods, just like a city, and Royal Caribbean claims that this means that the guests are spaced out so that the ship won't feel overcrowded even though it has so many people on board. There's a boardwalk with an arcade and hot dogs, a candy store, a sports bar, and there is, naturally, a pool area that's stuffed full of water features and hot tubs and other sports. And in addition to all of this stuff, there's also a park with all the nature as well as restaurants and stores, and even an ice rink, a comedy club, a casino, and a theater, along with a spa, a salon, and a fitness center. I mean, geez, why do people even need to go float a massive boat with all this stuff? I'm fairly sure that all that shiz is available on dry land already. What is with all of us? It really is so very exciting over here at the Banana, isn't it? Bear with us, there are some whoppers that are yet to come. Number 18. Odyssey of the Seas Royal Caribbean have so many cruise ships, it's bordering on the obscene. There are currently 26 ships of six different classes that are sailing under the Royal Caribbean flag, 
And when you bear in mind that this company has all the biggest vessels and boasts of having the most capacity on basically all of their cruise liners, this is a seriously profitable lark. This is the Odyssey of the Seas, yet another of Royal Caribbean's gigantic mega ships, and it's essentially a massive floating kids camp. They say that it's great for families, but if you want to spend your vacation with thousands of kids screeching and leaping into the umpteen pools on board, then you are a much braver man than I. Royal Caribbean love to say that adults will enjoy it as well. They boast that the Solarium is an adults-only venue with its own bistro and bar, as well as lounge areas and whirlpools, but the place will also contain all 4,000 adults on board as they shelter from the unmitigated ship show that is a horde of kids on summer break in a multicolored entertainment land full of pools and arcades. Ah. Number 17. Freedom of the Seas Another of Royal Caribbean's crazy mammoth cruise ships, this time from the early 2000s. When she launched back in 2006, the ship was the largest passenger vessel on the sea, but there's a big competition for that coveted top spot and always a larger lady waiting in the wings to swoop in for the prize. She was quickly overtaken by her sister ships in the following years, and yet more RC monsters just keep on taking the accolade. The Freedom of the Seas measures over 1,100 feet in length and 183 feet in width, Traveling at a cruising speed of 21.6 knots, she can accommodate over 5,000 people. So, that's a whole bunch of dinner rolls, but nothing compared to the newest offerings from this most extreme of cruise companies. At the time of her launch, the Freedom of the Seas was considered state-of-the-art and had all of the facilities to go with that particular boast. A promenade, shops galore, multiple restaurants, a library, and many bars as well as a theater, various clubs, even an ice rink. And there was also a dedicated sports deck, which featured miniature golf, basketball, volleyball, and a climbing wall with the ship's fully equipped gym taking pride of place. The thing is though, Royal Caribbean just keeps on outdoing themselves with their own additions and outlandish design features, so their previously luxurious ships seem outdated and under-equipped when compared to their most recent offerings to the ocean-loving vacationer. All that constant upgrading must be a real pain in the boat. Number 16. Mariner of the Seas And for our final installment of Royal Caribbean advertising, we have the Mariner of the Seas. Great! This is a great big pile of ship, that much is true. But what is different about this one, compared to all the other 25,000 Royal Caribbean boats, is, well, I don't really know. They all basically look the same. Some are marginally bigger or smaller. Some have 20 pools and others have 23. You know, this one has laser tag so you can shoot people when you're so sick of looking at them all day every day in this torturous vacation prison boat. Then you can cool off with a go on the flow rider. This is an onboard surfing machine, because why actually get into the ocean when you can just float about on it and use a fake wave maker to do it instead? Then when you're all knackered after that weird exercise, why not try out an escape room? Perhaps it'll make you feel at least a little like there's a way out of this terminal boat trip with 9,000 other bodies. Of course, if all of that is just too energetic, you can also get wasted in the tradition of the cruise ship. There are dozens of drinking and eating opportunities on board this floating city, so you can numb the tedium of being trapped at sea with a lovely cocktail or even 12. Marvelous. Number 15. Carnival Celebration Despite the size of this ship, it seems that it's unleashing in me a deeply rooted claustrophobia. So bear with me as I poke around these next few massive sea monsters. This time, we're in the hands of the Carnival Cruise Ship Company. I just can't wait. This is the Carnival Celebration. Much like the Royal Caribbean ships, the Carnival ships are all about excess and enormous entertainment facilities that really have no business being on a ship. Although slightly smaller than the RC big ships, the Carnival Celebration is 183,521 gross tons. But size isn't everything. It's all about what you do with it that counts, right? Ha 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 ha! So Carnival have filled this colossal boat with all manner of stuff, 
to entertain and delight the masses. There's even a flippin' roller coaster! There are a bunch of different categories across the state rooms on board the carnival celebration, and they all range from regular family accommodations through to the mega fancy suite varieties that are for the most well endowed of wallet customers. And if your room is windowless or overlooks the backside of a lifeboat, you may want to spend as little time in there as possible, so you'll be happy to discover that there are dozens of places to eat and drink yourself senseless as well as all the entertainment that your drunken self can stand. There is that roller coaster called Bolt, as well as all the water-based stuff you would expect, and then there are comedy shows and multiple theater productions, and stuff to send your kids to. Even NASA stuff in partnership with the Kennedy Space Center, so your kids can learn about science while you destroy your own brain cells in the bar. Ha, <laughs> what a fun one! Number 14. Carnival Panorama now we have another of the carnival fun boats to share with all of you lucky, lucky people. If big ships are your thing, then it seems that the market has been cornered by the two huge cruise companies of Carnival and Royal Caribbean. This is another colossal piece of ship. The Carnival Panorama is a Vista-class ship that has been operational since 2019, and ever since then she's basically been outdone by all the massive ships that have been built in her wake, but she is still sailing. And she's still a big one, so here we go. Whilst the upper deck of the ship looks like a marble run, or a hamster adventure park, it's actually a cruise ship covered with water slides. That is one of the main family features of the ship. There are all the usual offerings for intoxication in the many bars and entertainment venues, but this ship is distinctly lacking those essential modern features. It has no casino, and more worryingly for a ship that is docked in California, it has no spa. How will all those passengers even cope without saunas and steam baths and massages all over the show? But compared to those colossal boats of Royal Caribbean, this one is just a baby and has a capacity of a mere 4,008 passengers with 1,450 crew. Also, despite only being a handful of years old, the vessel is already becoming clunky and experiencing problems. In fact, Carnival was forced to cancel some sailings and offer refunds to their paying customers because she was underperforming. Number 13. The Carnival Breeze and now, would you have even guessed it? Yes, we have yet another Carnival Cruise Liner. Huzzah! This is the Carnival Breeze, a ship that made its debut back in 2012 and spends its time offering various jaunts around the Caribbean out of its home port in Miami, Florida. Such a glamorous life it has. This ship is kind of big, having a capacity of 3,690 passengers and 1,386 crew. But with a gross tonnage of over 130,000, it's a toddler in comparison to the biggest current ships in the world. And as we already know, it isn't only size that counts. The vessel offers its passengers a whole bunch of bars and dining opportunities, as well as a casino, and it even has a spa. Oh, so fancy. Number 12. Carnival Radiance Next up, we have another carnival ship, where this time she's proper old, but don't worry, she's been given a lovely shiny makeover, so you can hardly even tell what an elderly lady she is. The Carnival Radiance was previously known as the Carnival Victory. She first stepped into the limelight back in 2000 under her original name, but after years of service, she began to look kinda tired. Well, so would you if you had tens of thousands of people inside you every year. In 2020, she got a facelift, and some new threads, and they rebranded her as the Lady Radiance. And then off again she goes. The vessel has a gross tonnage of 102,000, a capacity of 2,764 passengers, and 1,100 crew members. The Radiance is the proud owner of four pools, a spa, and a casino, as well as three dining rooms, a whole bunch of lounges and bars, and a selection of all of those all-important Las Vegas-type shows that cruisers just seem to love. I mean, what more could you need? You may be beginning to notice a pattern here, that these ships are all basically the same, just in varying degrees of scale. Well, that's because they are, and this is all incredibly boring. So let's see what changing to a different cruise company may do for us, shall we? Number 11. The MSC Seascape 
As the third largest cruise company in the world, MSC Cruises, a Swiss-owned global cruise line, naturally has some pretty big boats. So let's take a look at several of them. This is the MSC Seascape. It is the biggest of the four seaside class ships that are in the fleet at MSC Cruises. It measures 1,112 feet long, having a gross tonnage of 169,400, so it is a big old ship. Well, new ship, really. At 20 decks tall, the MSC Seascape is comparable with her rivals on the high seas. She has a maximum passenger capacity of just over 5,000 and a crew of 1,648. The design of this mega cruise ship is essentially like a boat with a massive generic hotel plonked on top of it. You know, like all the others. But they claim that this vessel has an emphasis on its outdoor spaces and is especially well endowed in the promenade area. The main feature that makes this particular boat stand out from the rest, even that one with the roller coaster or the one with the surfing machine, is its Robotron. This, believe it or not, is a giant robotic arm that dangles the riders out over the ocean. What a fun one! Seems like these cruise ships are in an endless battle to push the boundaries of what cool entertainment they have. It's lame, but whatever. This is the joy of the free market. Number 10. The MSC Seaside So, rather boringly, the MSC Seaside is the first of the Seaside class of cruise ships in the MSC Cruises collection. She was announced first and launched first, and has all of the same junk as the one we just looked at, except that she's a bit smaller. Now I know it's a thrill a minute here today. She weighs in at a substantial 153,516 gross tons, still less than her sister the Seascape, and when she was built, she was the 14th largest cruise ship in the world. Hardly a massive achievement, but whatever. We are waist deep in these cruise ship shenanigans now, so what do you expect? Now, although these ships may look a lot like the others we've seen, they are actually holding a bit of a nasty secret. It turns out that the MSC Seaside has a bit of a hygiene problem. She might be very pretty, if you like that sort of thing, but she is suffering from some sanitation issues. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Vessel Sanitation Program gave her a 67 out of 100 because her dishwashing was subpar and she's got a bit of a problem with flies. Ew! They took action, however, and now she has a much shinier and definitely more respectable 93 out of 100. Ooh, still though, I don't much fancy dinner on this ship, now do you? Number 9. MSC World Europa here we have yet another offering from MSC Cruises. This is the MSC World Europa. When it was launched in 2022, the ship was the largest of the MSCs, and it can carry almost 7,000 passengers, having an obscene number of bars and restaurants in order to feed and water them all. There are 33 in total, in case you were wondering. But in addition to all of this, and in spite of the excess of bars that are available, this ship also boasts a Formula One simulator, not really sure if you're breathalyzed before you're allowed behind the wheel, and what they claim is the world's tallest dry slide at sea. I mean, wow, I can't believe that someone finally did it. It's the tallest dry slide at sea. No one thought it possible, but this ship has pushed the envelope and amazed the world with its extraordinary achievement in the extremely competitive and dangerous world of slide building. Oh, I can't believe it, can you? Despite all the usual boasting about its eco-credentials and all that nonsense, this ship is run on LNG, which is liquid natural gas. Actually, many cruise ships are turning to this as a source of fuel rather than the old fossil fuels, but it is still a fossil fuel, and although it may have some lower emissions in the carbon department, it has much higher methane emissions, and that's all the same stuff that all the cattle in the world have been parping out and making all the bad climate change with. So, you know, it's still not exactly ideal. Number 8. The MSC Virtuoso Our final peep at the MSC Big Ships is at the MSC Virtuoso. Now I know, I'll be sad to see these European beauties go as well. This is the Meraviglia class cruise ship that was originally scheduled to debut back in November of 2020. 
But, and you may remember this, there was a little bit of a blip in the calendar for cruise ships that year, and she was held up schedule-wise until May of 2021. But when she was launched, the MSC Virtuosa had all the fancy schmancy junk that you would expect in a world-class vessel, and she was a big fat ship to boot. The way they designed this class of ship was that each one would be bigger than the previous. Sounds kinky. And they didn't disappoint, with this boat's beautifully curvaceous proportions coming in at 181,000 gross tons and a capacity of 6,334 passengers, plus a whole boatload of crew to service the ship out of them. Now that's what I call luxury. Number 7. Norwegian Prima we finished with the Mediterranean ship companies and now we're headed northwards to a nation of seafaring people and another massive cruise company, lucky old us. This is the Norwegian Prima, owned and operated by NCL, which is Norwegian Cruise Line. This was the first of six new ships in its class and she began sailing back in 2022. At 143,535 gross tonnage, this vessel is up there amongst the big, but she is by no means in the top tier of the largest ladies of the sea. She has all the charming features that we've come to know and expect in these ships, though. With a guest capacity of 3,099 and a crew capacity of 1,500, the ratio of staff to passengers is staggeringly high. So, does this mean that the ship is all about luxury experience? Well, that is what they promise. The ship not only has all the food options and infinity pools that you could dare to imagine, but it's also the home of a weird and daring ride. No, it's not quite a roller coaster, but a fairground style drop ride nonetheless. The drop slide falls 10 decks and gives all the booze addled board cruisers a bit of a quick thrill. So that's rather exciting now, isn't it? Number six, Norwegian Encore. This breakaway plus class cruise ship was debuted back in 2019. At 169,116 gross tons, she is a middling sword in the big cruise ship category, but her onboard stuff is enough to make up for her slightly smaller size. Painted like a kid's nursery classroom, the Norwegian Encore is not the most sophisticated of ships to behold, but she does boast all of the mod cons inside and is especially proud of her all cutting edge technology. There are three outdoor pools, a spa, and a casino, so that's a relief. But the thing that makes this ship different is its so-called Norwegian Speedway. That is the largest racetrack at sea. Why don't we come up with our own biggest version of something and put it on a ship that's completely unnecessary? Go ahead, put all your most outlandish ideas in the comments section down below. What about the biggest guinea pig assault course at sea? My pet guinea pig Twinkle will just love that one. Number 4. Scarlet Lady It seems that bazillionaires just cannot help themselves and they need to poke all of their fingers into all of the pies on planet Earth. Not content with owning the skies, the vacations on land and the internet and cable television service, as well as over a million other things, Virgin's Richard Branson also decided he needed to own the ship out of the high seas. And so, in 2014, he announced that he was going to start a cruise line as one does. This is the Scarlet Lady, the first of the Virgin Voyages owned and operated ships. She was set to take her inaugural trip in April of 2020, but we all know how that panned out. So she finally took to the water in October of 2021. The ship is substantial, as you would expect, and weighs in at over 110,000 gross tons, but the biggest thing about the cruise line is surely that they managed to get Jennifer Lopez to be their chief entertainment and lifestyle officer. Does this mean she's going to sing? Oh, who could possibly say? Number 3. Celebrity Beyond Celebrity cruises are actually under the umbrella of parent company Royal Caribbean. Nobody can do anything without their say-so. The ship is 141,420 gross tons, having a capacity of just over 3,000 passengers plus crew. They say that this class of ship is designed to change the way that you cruise, but how? Well, they haven't quite made that one clear. 
They do have the first female cruise ship captain in America, though, so, you know, maybe that's it. Like the Norwegian ships, this celebrity vessel was the first of its kind to get all that fancy schmancy stupid Elon Musk SpaceX Starling internet facilities. So perhaps they mean that you'll now cruise the way that you do the rest of your life by staring at your phone. Number 2. Sun Princess Although not yet launched, the Sun Princess is the first in a new sphere class of cruise ships in Princess's fleet. What a fun one! Again, the new ship will be powered by liquefied natural gas, better in some ways but terrible in others, as has already been established. But I don't know, what if we just had fewer cruise ships, and maybe did some of this dumb stuff on dry land where it already exists? I don't know, but this is all ridiculously wasteful already, so why do we need to keep making more and more and more of these colossal monster ships? Yell at me all you want down below in the comments section. I know you want to. This one, when it gets launched sometime in 2024, will have a gross tonnage of over 175,000, which is pretty massive, but it also needs to be able to contain all of the dumb ship that people demand these days. 21 decks, bazillions of bars and restaurants, and 48,000 swimming pools. Because why the hell not? Number 1. Disney Wish And finally, the piece de resistance, Disney. For some time now, Disney has been doing cruises where you can get all the fun of a regular cruise, plus Mickey Mouse. And who in the world would not want that? Not I. Even this old curmudgeon wants a Mickey cruise. The Disney Wish is the newest of the five ships that are operated by Disney Cruise Line. As the largest in the fleet, she's also full of all of the most fancy stuff. And in addition to that, there are hidden and not-so-hidden Mickeys everywhere. There's also a statue of Cinderella, a water ride called Aqua Mouse, the so-called first Disney attraction at sea, and a whole bunch of dining places with the most theming that you can imagine. From Frozen to Marvel, there is Disney-style stuff for everyone, and it's a whole lot of fun, I'm sure. Well, it turns out that you can have enough of big boats. Even Sir Mix-a-Lot probably had his limits. But what do you think of this massive pile of ship? Which of these colossal vessels do you want to get inside of? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.